Yo, what's up, YouTube? Beer Pressure episode number 19. What we got? Let's check it out. We got the Hangar 24 Betty IPA. If you could see that. Alright. Now, 22 ounces. It's an ale. Anything else interesting about this? Yeah, the fact that there is not an alcohol percentage. Oh wait, I lied. 6.5. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Nah. So, let's crack this open real quick. I like the art on it too. Yeah, that's kind of a cool art style. Kind of reminds me of um, World War Two. Yeah, military. All right. As usual, I always pour this out in front of you guys so that way you can see the color. Uh, let me try to get that in here. There we go. It looks nice. Yeah. A nice. Uh, it's got like the amber color. Yeah, too. exactly. Kind of reminds me of. Um, don't make fun of me for not knowing this. You know, in the first Jurassic Park movie, when they had that thing the inside movie. the amber. <laughs> That's kind of how it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's in it again? Uh, what was whatever. it? A dinosaur or something? I forget. For all you uh, Jurassic. Oh man, this smells good. I love. I'm loving IPAs now. <laughs> that does smell really IPA good. IPA is my go-to. That they is have, good. They have good smells. Oh man! All right, let's start drinking this. I need. I need to drink this. All right, so initial thoughts on the beer goes down smooth. Now, the hot flavor to it, because it's there. <laughs> it, is, it is an IPA, so it's something that I've come to learn to expect every time I drink one. And uh, yeah, just like you said, it's there, but it's good. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Not too strong though. It's got a little bit of kick. It is an IPA. Yeah. I'm sure this will go really well with a dinner, for example, you know. You have a nice steak, nice, nice dinner, and this seems like it would be a good occasion to drink this because of its strong flavors, you know, it might complement the, the experience, you know. Oh yeah, or a good burger. Yeah, yeah, this doesn't really seem like something you would drink all by itself. It seems like it would go well with food, like, like he just said, like a burger or something like that. This is in your, uh, oh, I'm going to a party. I'm, I'm going to pick this particular beer up. Now, you could do that, I guess, if you want, but... It just doesn't seem right, though. Yeah, it doesn't seem right. This is a type of beer that you come home to after a long day's work, open it up, have a nice dinner. It, that's a chill night. Yeah, yeah. With this. Now, we always talk about carbonation, three tiers, low, medium, high. This one gets a medium. It's not too high, not in my opinion. No. Nope. Medium to, low to medium, I have to agree. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. And then... Beginner, novice, or advanced. Yeah. Just because it's a little stronger than an average beer, I'm gonna have to say that it's for 
novice. Not just, no, not for a beginner. But it's not that advanced either. It's kind of like really in a nice place in between both. Sits right, right there. Yeah, it's not too crazy, but it's not too light either. You know when you're playing beer pong or you're at a party or something like that? This isn't what you're going to see there. So, it's not like that easily accessible. You know, where everyone can drink it. It's a little higher up there in the chain. This would be a waste if it was used for beer pong. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. <clears throat> initial taste and aftertaste. The initial taste, it... Just think of an IPA. You, you've had... I don't want to say that you've had one IPA, you've had them all, but it's a familiar IPA taste. Yeah, they're all kind of... I don't want, I mean, I'm going to obviously reiter, reiterate what he just said. It's You kind of know what to expect. Even though the flavors may be a little different, it's the IPA. You know it's an IPA, so you know what to expect. You can ex But at the same time, there could be subtle differences, too. Yeah, exactly. Final Based verdict? To, uh, final verdict that the beer... Man, you know, because of how crisp and how it's not too strong. You guys know me. Man, I'm gonna have to give it an 8. I'm gonna give it an 8. That's a good score. I think I'm gonna have to... because I would definitely get this again, I would give it an 8.5. This is on my personal purchase again list and I recommend it for all those beer drinkers. IPA fans, go get it. Yeah, it's good stuff. And the art looks really nice too, so... Keep the bottle. Yeah, that's all we do. Anyways, thank you very much for, for taking the time to watch our videos. And if you've gotten this far, thank you once again. Please make sure to comment let us know if you've tried it before. Tell us what you think. Anyway. Let's pour one out. That's going to wrap it up for this episode. Cheers. Have a nice one and peace. peace.